What is this? This would be episode 253 brought to you by Phillips Law. <clears throat> Over a billion dollars won for their customers. And trust and recommend <laughs> since 1993, so they've been around. Over wow. 1,800 plus Google reviews, official partners of the Arizona Cardinals, ASU Sun Devils. You need Phillips. 602 388 1669. Attorney available for audience, friends, and family for any legal advice for your charge. All right, Uncle Ariel, how, how's it going? Thank you for joining us on the Timbo Sugar Show podcast on a f- beautiful Friday. You got a busy schedule, and uh, appreciate you paying me to go on your show. <laughs> uh, never too busy to come on this show. I do believe I was told by Garrett that I'm the first repeat guest in the history of the program. It's okay. You, you can just run with so. that. It's fine. Facts don't matter. It's okay. Um, so it's yeah. an honor to be here. Last time I heard we were age restricted. So maybe I should keep the cussing to a minimum, right? No, that, that you are right. right. Last time it did get our, our views, obviously always milli, two milli, three milli. And then yeah. we came on and we, yeah, we were sitting there on 20,000. So I don't know. I don't want to say it was you, but no, it couldn't have been me. I mean, I'm Helwani equals ratings. That's what they've always said about me. So it can't yeah. be me. Ariel, after your little beef with Chael, what was the first interaction? Did you text him or did he text you first? Hey. Well, I mean, how about Tim? Just like no foreplay, Tim? No footsie? No, no hi, how are you? It. How's Fuck your Friday going? Around. Just going right into the... And people say, I like the drama. Like, at least I, I build up to it. A little, you know, rubbing of the belly. I mean, nothing. We don't do anything. A little caressing of the arm. I say we let it rip. <sighs> okay, fine. Um, Chael, my good friend, uh, he texted me right while i was doing the show legit five minutes later so you know my show is quite long he was sort of in the middle and then he wrote me something like this is the awkward part where we wait to see who texts who first i'll start and uh, i sent him a picture while i was on the air with a thumbs up and uh then we went back and forth and then i called him on the following day the thursday because it was a wednesday show i called him on the thursday to uh to clear the air because i thought it was funny that people were you know, everyone was weighing in on this, but this would be akin, maybe not as close as you two, but this would be akin to like you two arguing or, you know, uh, two longtime friends. Like we are longtime friends and we have done this before. I will say we went maybe a little bit too far um, on that one, but these are friends. So I see all these guys weighing in on the way we were, you know, talking and all this stuff like, yo, mind your business. All right. Just mind your business. These are two friends. We hashed it out. We're all good. He apologized. I accept it. It's all good. Yeah, I, f- I figured it'd be like that. Both you guys just pretty much like brothers battling. And if he, if he was there in real life, he wouldn't have hurt you. I don't think he would have made maybe gave you a nuggy or maybe pulled your arm over your head or something. Yeah, I, I wouldn't let him get close. Fun. Hurt Chael. True. I, w- I wouldn't have let him get close. Here's the other thing. People <laughs> are like, how dare you talk to a fighter like that? That's not to me. Chael isn't a fighter. That's my friend. Like yeah. if I got married today. Chael would be one of my best men, in my opinion. I don't know if he feels the same about me. I think he does. Um, so I would never talk to Sean like that. I would never talk to you like that. I would never talk to 99.9%. We're not friends. No, but like, you know what I mean? Like, we don't have that history to where I feel like maybe if I said that, you would get offended. I know you wouldn't, but you get the point, right? Like, I didn't do a show with you for three years at ESPN. Uh, I do consider you a friend. You're a great guy, and, uh, and I love every time we talk. But um, when I said to him, like, come on, man, spit it out. Say what you want to say. Get it off your chest. You're trying to say something. Just say it. Don't be a coward. I'm not questioning <laughs> Chell. No one has ever, I, I think I've been Chell's greatest ally. When I heard what happened to him in that hotel a year and a half ago, without even knowing the facts, I blindly supported him because that's my friend and I will always go to bat for my friend. So um, again, uh, people love the drama and it's all good. And uh, they say the same about me, but we're all good. We're all good. We're friends. And I love the guy. I genuinely love him. And he's been nothing but a good friend to me. Mm-hmm. I love Chael too, and I've only met him once. He's incredible. I love him. I love yeah, him. Chael's the man. He's just literally the same guy in the training room, same guy after the training room. He's just the man. So I figured you guys would be pretty good after that. But okay, so say, say Chael's in a room 
in a room, bare knuckle. Jorge Masvidal walks in that room, bare knuckle. Mm -hmm. Who's walking out of there, in your opinion? Golly, that's a tough one. Um, Now you're putting me on the spot here. I mean, yeah, why, you think it's easy? Well, I just say, I mean, Chael's just a lot bigger, right? I I guess Masvidal's not not big, but I feel like Chael's like a big, big guy. He's 6'2", 230 probably right now. Yeah. Is there, are we drug testing before? Or is it just anything? No, no, no. We're, he okay, walks okay, into just the sure. room. That's the thing. Um, I mean, did you see the veins popping out of his head? I mean, it was getting intense there. Uh, <laughs> uh, can't, you know, can't, they, they, can't count Masvidal out, though. You never know when he no. sprints at you with a knee. Well, not only that, Masvidal has actually had bare knuckle fights. Uh, Chill, I'm sure, has gone into scraps on the mean streets of Westland, Oregon. But like, yep. there is that, footage. That of, fight would be on the feet for a good maybe five to seven seconds who, who, dump him that's what they who said about first Alvaro. who shoots first Chael's taking him down within seconds in the room yeah. in a small room like that within seconds he's 230. yeah it's been a while since he fought though 2019 i believe yeah. it was so he fights he every day he does Westland. he does yeah, yeah. no it's, you know it's I mean? dangerous over there people are spitting gum on the street he's got to be i mean you, you can't get away from the game as jorge he's always dangerous though 100 yeah, yeah. how did it no feel doubt. being in the presence of greatness the other day when i was in the in studio okay you uh because there was a lot i mean we've had a lot of in studio yeah, guests yeah, yeah. recently greatness um no i'm kidding great. don't even answer that that was silly that was silly no that no, was no. fun well, thank you for having me on in the studio i was excited i literally i told you i, I woke up early took an early flight just to did. get there just to fit that in the schedule because me very busy can I can I say something? I know you were joking, but can I say something? I knew from the first time I met you, you were on a rocket ship and you were destined for greatness and you have this amazing fan base and you just look like a superstar and act like a superstar and fight like a superstar. And and I joke sometimes with people like you. I, I did the same with Izzy, with Connor. At some point, you're going to get too big. You're going to get hard to reach. Not only are you not that guy, now that you've become champion several months, you respond right away. You You changed your schedule to come on the show. This stuff means a lot. And, and I'm reminded of why it's so special when just this week, I won't name names, but there is a fighter that I've been trying to get on the show who is not a champion, who has never fought for a UFC title. And I asked, I was, and he's been on before, and the response I got was, he's too busy to do your show now. And I'm like, wow, I've gotten this before. But I was like, wow, we didn't even get to the promised land yet. And we're getting that. So people like you, people like Izzy, people like Connor, People like Alex Volkanovsky, I will always have love for. And it's not because, oh, I only love you because you come on the show. It's like, you don't change. GSP is the greatest example of this. Never changed from the first time I met him all the way until his retirement. And, uh, you know, in the business that I'm in, I appreciate that sort of thing. So you are the the real deal, the genuine article, all that stuff. And thank I appreciate you, it very thank much. You, thank you. I wonder how much, I don't know who you're talking about, obviously, but I wonder how much of that is that person specifically or if it's someone in his ear, someone that works with the management saying, no, 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 I don't think you should do that. Because anyone that's a fighter that's not coming on your show, who has the biggest MMA platform, is stupid. And they're, they're, they're just, I mean, that's pretty much it. They're stupid. They're not, if they're <laughs> turning your show down, yeah, they're, they're, that's just them not being smart. And they're not that fucking busy, especially if they're not fucking champ. They ain't got shit to do. Well, the thing is, like, I, I always try to be uh, respectful of your time, right? So if you're on via Zoom, I'll never go past 30 minutes. Like, I'm not going to keep you on for an hour, two hours. When we're in studio, like, I try to maximize that. In yeah. fairness to this particular person, who I love and I would have him on the show tomorrow, uh, it was his manager who said that. Yeah. And so, you know, yeah, the, you, you, might have a, you might have a point there. I sure fucking do. I sure do. I know, I know. Well, let's just keep talking juicy. Jake Paul's fighting a boxer. I know. I feel like every time we kind of have our conversations, it's around the similar things, you know, the good drama. And then Jake Paul's always involved in that. And I fucking, yeah. I've been a huge fan of Jake since the, since he started fighting. He's fighting, what is it? Andre August. Yeah. 10 and one pro boxer, big deal, but not as big of a fight as we're used to. I'm still excited about it. I don't know if the pay-per-views or the, you know, Jake does such a good job promoting the fight. I'm sure it will still be big. Probably it ain't going to be Jake versus Nate. It's not going to be Jake versus Ben. It's not, you know, it's not going to be that. No. But Jake's made enough money. He's had enough eyeballs. He's like, all right, I want to focus on, you know, becoming a legitimate pro boxer in other people's eyes. What do you, what are your thoughts on that? Uncle Harry. Okay. Ariel? Well, first of all, it is worth noting. Uh, this isn't a pay-per-view. It's, it's just coming with your disowned subscription. I so, did not know that. Wow. Yeah. So like, you know, DAZN has fights every weekend. You don't yeah. have to pay extra for this. Um, 
and that's the smart move, right? Like you, you can't ask people to pay $50 for a fight like this. Yeah. Um, I know there are people, you know, he kind of started differently, right? Uh, if you look at every single major boxer of the last 30, 40, 40 years, from Floyd to Canelo to Terrence Crawford to Gervonta Davis, Ryan Garcia, et cetera, they're fighting guys like Andre August on the way up. Their yeah. first 10 to 15, 20 fights are against guys who are four and two, five and one, one and six. Not like, even. just look at. Yeah, yes. they're literally 0 and 8, 1 and 13, yes. 2 and 40. Like that's the legitimate boxing records of the guys that are coming up. You were being generous saying, you know, with winning records, 90% yeah. of these guys don't have winning records. But Absolutely. And you can look up these records on BoxRec. Uh, they're right there for all of you to see. Jake Speaking went in. Of, mine's uh, 1 and 0 on there if you want to look it up. Go ahead. Is uh, that true? Yeah, that's true. What year? 2016 maybe. Broke this dude's jaw, left hand, put his lights out, undefeated, pro boxer, 1-0 with a nasty KO aerial. Sick. Was yeah. Timbo in your corner? Timbo was in my corner, damn right. Uh, where was this? Montana? No, here. Celebrity Theater in Phoenix. Iron Boy wow. Boxing Promotions. Okay, so well, we're going to come back to that in a moment because I have something to say about that. Um, so... Jake comes in and he and 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 the boxing public they sounded very stupid throughout all of this. Tyron Woodley twice, Ben Askren, I don't care hurt or not, Anderson Silva, Nate Diaz, those dudes with or without any boxing experience are infinitely tougher than the one in 10 cans yeah. that all these other guys are fighting. They, they're just tough. They know how to be there. They fought under the lights. They don't give up. They are tough SOBs. Oh, is their technique not the same? Who cares? Give me, give me Anderson Silva or any of those guys any day of the week, even at his yeah. age. So it was ridiculous. Now he's taking a step back and he says, look, all right, I'm going to go down the path that you've all asked me to go down. And that's just the traditional boxing route. And I'm going to build it up. Is this going to break records? Is this going to make people foam at the mouth? No, but I respect the fact that at this point, he doesn't have to do this anymore. He clearly loves it. He has a passion for this. And he's going out there to try to be the best boxer he can be. Not the best influencer boxer, not the best crossover boxer. He just wants to rack up experience, rounds, and ultimately, hopefully for his sake, wins. And so I'm intrigued by that because I'm intrigued... I'm not necessarily intrigued by Jake Paul versus Andre August because I'd be lying if I said I knew who Andre August was before they announced this. No boxing fan knew who he was. But I'm intrigued in the maturation and evolution of Jake Paul the boxer because none of these other guys are doing this who come from his world. They're all looking for the influencer sexy fight. And so I think it takes balls to do this. If there's no there's no stakes as far as like anything good that can come out of this. Like if he beats Andre August, everyone's like, yeah, you should beat Andre August. If you lose to Andre August, everyone calls you a bum. So it's a really a lose lose for him. To me, it's intriguing. I'm curious to see where he goes with it. I think the feud between him and MMA has kind of run its course for now. Maybe it gets revisited in the future. But for now, like just seeing Jake Paul get rounds in, there's nothing wrong with that. Which leads me to what we saw. I don't know. I don't know when the, when is this going to air. This will air probably Monday, next Monday, coming up. Which leads me to what we saw on Thursday night in Las Vegas. Uh, Shakur Stevenson, who's been someone that you've mentioned, uh, had a fight against a fighter who was really tough, but no one really knew who he was, and he didn't look all that great in Wait, that Shakur fight. Wait, Shakur Stevenson fought yesterday? Thursday. Yeah, on Thursday. It's today's, well, what? Today's he well, literally fought yesterday. Are well, you I'm serious? saying uh, yesterday would be Sunday if this airs yeah, on Monday, so I'm still, trying to that's be... that's crazy. Did, I did you not know this? It's Friday morning. Yes. I had no idea. Did you? No. That's wild. So Shakur Stevenson fought a T-Mobile on Thursday night in Las Vegas um, and did not look very good at all. In fact, some people thought he lost and he apologized after for the performance. Uh, they did it on a Thursday, by the way, which I didn't hate because uh, there's so much fighting going on. Well, and it's not a big fight. Might as well just fucking throw it on a Thursday. Well, the reason they did it was ESPN put it on a Thursday because the F1 is coming to Las Vegas oh. for the first time this weekend. So yep. they wanted to make like a whole like week end yeah. of activity. Um, but it's like, I, I still watched it because I want to see the evolution and maturation of this guy, even though I didn't really know who his opponent was, if I'm being honest, Dillis Santos. It's just like, I'm interested in names and fighters and their progression. Ultimately, that leads to big fights. Um, so that's the same with with Jake Paul. And I was just going to ask you what you thought of Shakur's performance, but I guess you didn't watch it. So uh, I would have knocked his ass out. I'll tell you that much. No, I didn't see it, but uh, yeah, I probably would have. I wonder. I wonder, in your opinion, what you think with with Nate Diaz and stuff. If he's actually getting offered ten million to fight Jake Paul and he doesn't really want to, I wonder what the real reasoning behind that would be. 
I think there's two things. I think number one, he doesn't want to do it with the PFL. I think he's very loyal to the UFC, which is, you know, a little bit ironic considering he butted heads with them for so long. But I think deep down, Nate was always very proud to be a UFC fighter and loved to be a part of the UFC. And you see, he still goes to the events and is supportive. Um, I think if Jake wasn't tied to the PFL, he would have been more open to it. And I think number two, Jake has offers to get that kind of money still against other people in other disciplines, if you catch my drift. So he doesn't need the money. He doesn't need the opportunity. And I think he doesn't... Uh, You're saying Nate has other opportunities to make that kind of money? Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Billy, 10 yeah. millies. Yeah. Nate is, Nate is still a big draw. People love yeah. Nate. Um, I said this on Wednesday. I think we'll see Nate back in the first quarter of 2024. Um, someone asked me if he'd be fighting Dustin Poirier. He's not going to be fighting Dustin Poirier. And He's not going to be fighting in the UFC, but he's he's got options, and I think I know what you're well. talking about. Yeah, I wow. think maybe I'm not. We can I mean, talk about it off air. I'm not at yeah. liberty to actually say what it is, but um, I think we're on the same boat. That I mean, if if it is, if it's something that I think it is, that that would be fucking sweet. But uh, again, I don't want to, I don't want to go against you know say, announce any fights that I should. Just jokes, just no. jokes, just jokes. How? Well, uh, no, no. Go ahead. Wow. I always try to make a it funny. And then I want to announce any big fights that I shouldn't. Uh, and then I was making fun of you. because I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know what that's like. I wouldn't know what that's like. I've never announced a fight that someone said I couldn't announce. That would be a breach of trust. And I would never mm -hmm. do that. Like if you told me something off the record, off air, just like this situation right here, the Nate mm -hmm. thing, Ariel, I'm going to tell you something, but you know, we're boys. I respect you when the time is right. Great. Um, but I would never, ever, I mean, I, I've said this to other people before, and I would say the same to you. Like, if you told me, hey, I'm fighting Cheeto on March 9th, or I'm doing this or that, or I have this plan, this plan, I would say, please never talk to me ever again. Please. And tell the world, tell your audience that I'm a scumbag if I ever breach your trust, if I ever go against what you are asking me to do, if I ever go out there and blurt this out just for a few clicks. Like, it's not worth it. My yeah. reputation, my right. relationships, it's not worth it for any piece of news. Like 100%. I mean, I think, I think, yeah, you got to be like that. That's the best way to be. But uh, for for Sean Strickland, switching it up a little bit, do you think DDP okay. or Kamzat is a tougher match? Interesting. I think, I think, I ultimately have to go with Hamzat because of the skill set and because he seems somewhat unbreakable. Even though you know he, there have been some holes that have come up, especially when fights go long, and Strickland has a great gas tank. Um, DDP has this amazing skill to where like he doesn't look particularly good. It's a little bit awkward. It's a little bit unorthodox, but he just keeps winning. You know, like the striking against Whitaker, it didn't look great. It didn't look pretty. And you tell me you guys are the experts. I'm not the expert, but like to me and naked eye and, and it's just effective. And uh, you know, that's somewhat like Sean Strickland too. It's not exactly the prettiest striking. It's, it's not sugar over here, but it's uh, it's just effective. So I think I would have to say Hamzad, but DDP is a tough out and I would not be shocked whatsoever. And and with Sean, you just never know, like, how is he adapting to the champ life? Um, this all kind of came out of nowhere in some respects. And, uh, you know, I, I you, you just want that first title defense uh, is always a, a, a tricky one. You've heard fighters say that. And so I'm, I'm curious how he is going to just like be going into the fight, leading up to the fight, dealing with the pressure. He's the star. He's the A side here. I do think it's really weird that this guy who is so pro America and who has developed this incredible fan base, like it's one of the great stories of 2023, like Sean Strickland, babyface. People are like, yeah, he speaks the truth. This is the kind of champion we want. Is fighting in Toronto, is fighting in Canada, like of all places, like you can't tell me that was the plan. Like it, it, Sean Strickland should be fighting in America's heartland. Like, like he could sell out a freaking stadium in, uh, st louis or something you know um that to me is a little bit weird but i'm looking forward to the fight should be good yeah i'm curious with like sean strickland and hamzat like how many rounds they sparred together was it just one round was it a couple rounds because even hamzat after he won i thought he was going to be calling out strickland but he just kind of changed the tone a little bit so i'm so curious how those sparring rounds probably went yeah i don't think it's been a ton and ultimately i'm actually really happy i'm not happy hamzat got hurt that sucks he was supposed to be the number one contender you know after the win but this is the right thing like this was justice in my opinion you beat robert whitaker the way in which ddp did you deserve a title shot in my opinion and it was kind of a crummy situation to you know have to deal with for him because they wanted him to turn around two months later to fight izzy 
And, you know, maybe he would have beaten him anyway, but he was banged up. And very few people are asked to turn around that quickly. I mean, unless your name is Aljamain Sterling, but that was three months. So not as bad. This was even shorter. Uh, come on. That was a good one. That was, was that good. Not a I good, liked it. it was, come on. I didn't get it. Was it. No, I don't understand it. And, uh, <laughs> so Speaking of Aljo, I'm happy it worked out. Yes. Speaking of Aljo, you see he's calling out Max Holloway for the sugar card March 9th. I saw that. I thought that was interesting. I thought that was uh gutsy, nutty, brave of Aljo to call out you Max like it? Holloway. You like it? Um, I mean, Al- Aljo's former champ, former great greatest of all time, uh, bantamweight, moving up to forty five to fight one of the you know greatest of all time featherweights. How it's many, interesting. How, how many times has uh, Max Holloway got put on his back in his UFC career? Like a handful. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, I don't know. I thought I think it'd be an interesting fight. It'd be a big comeback fight for Aljo. Um, Max, I kind of love so it. So fucking dangerous. I just I don't know if that's the fight. I would pick for Aljo if I was want, I'm like, hey, let's fucking go up to 45 and let's do that. Let's be a little bit more sure. strategic about this. I, I don't know. No, if 100%. Pick Max. I do love the idea of him going to 45 just because I feel like, you know, he's fought a lot of those guys at 35, potentially clears the way for his friend to, you know. If he's get, 175, there's no reason he's going to 35. It just yeah. doesn't make sense. I don't understand how people, like, his skill level's there to where you're not, you don't have to be like, well, I'm just going to cut that much weight to make 35 if your skill level is there and you believe in yourself like you're, you can fight up at 45 oh 100 percent. but to your point jumping in there against max who i think is top 10 one of the best pound for pound fighters on the planet yeah. with or without a belt second yeah. best featherweight in the world is a massive jump that's a big boy who's very long who's very skilled all over the place um but i i dig it go big Ballsy. or go home i like it yep Yep. Good addition I, to your I, card too, right? Especially if you're getting some PPV points. Why not? Yeah, I mean, I, hey, I think that would be a you know a good fight. I'm curious what they're going to do for UFC 300 because UFC 299. I'm obviously main event headline in that one. It sounds like I've been seeing Henry versus Marab possibly on that card. Um, Damn, on 299 main event prelims. Yeah, we'll see. Um, I, I, shouldn't have said it. I don't know. I, I'm I'm curious how they're going to stack 300 because 300 has to be massive. And and it's I'm, I'm curious where they're gonna put 299, what kind of card they're gonna build it up as, and then UFC 300, what they're gonna build it up as. Well, there's one name at the top that's a shoe in for 300, in my opinion. It's got to be Connor. That's pretty. Yes. but it's got to be. It, it's got to be. It, I did. Go ahead. You you were gonna say something, didn't you? Just hear John Kavanaugh say no. Yeah. Yes, on my show. Yeah. Uh, but I've heard since that maybe plans are changing. So. Um, he, it would be like, such a disappointment. UFC 300, anyone other than Connor agreed. versus Michael Chandler, Connor versus anyone. Connor has to be main event of UFC 300, or I'm not watching. Jokes, I'll watch, but I'll be sad. <laughs> no, I mean sometimes I feel like the UFC because Connor is such a big deal. They try to f- they try to find like the perfect scenario for him to fight in, and I can understand from a business standpoint why you wouldn't want to put him on 300 because 300 is going to sell itself because of the pageantry of the number and whatnot. So maybe yeah. if you put him on 301, you get two bites of that million buy Apple. If you get what I'm saying, yeah. Um, because maybe 301 wouldn't be great without him. But to me, come on, man, Connor's ready to go. Who knows how many fights he has left in him. He's he's foaming at the mouth. He's almost begging for a fight. Put him on that damn card. He looks to be. I love the fact that he's been working with Brendan Lochnain, uh, who I think is a great, great guy, and and uh, like the type of guy that is gonna. Is that a strength you know, con- and conditioning person. No, Brendan Lochnain is the PFL uh, star who uh, want, who who didn't make it into the UFC because oh, he fighter. went for a takedown. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was their 145 uh, champ. Um, he's great, and uh, he's he's the right kind of guy to be around. And they're working out of uh, Dubai right now. And so, you know, Connor has money for generations at this point. The motivation is going to be the biggest test for him. Like, does he want to wake up? Does he want to do this? Does he want to put his body through the ringer? And everything that I'm hearing is he is down and he's ready to go. So don't wait till July. Let's do, I mean, and, and April is still five months away. Uh, to me, it has to be 300. The, the tricky thing about that is if you put a co-main, like it, it has to be a massive card. Your co-main event for the UFC can't be a champion unless because you're yeah. paying out, pay, you're going to be paying out that pay per view unless they're doing like an interim belt and 
or at well, yep. I don't even know, I guess, who's champ at what weight classes, but that's going to be a tricky position for the UFC business wise, having a business wise, having a co main champ. 100%. Um, you know, maybe you could do. Uh... I might knock Cheeto out and just fight at UFC 300. I thought you would have been a great. I thought you and Cheeto, if, if Connor wasn't available, I thought you and Cheeto was the. Uh the move for 300. And so when they put you on 299, I was like, oh, this means 300. This means 300 for Connor. Because to me, it would be, it would be, if, if not Connor, it would be like something like you or an Izzy, mm. but there aren't a ton of options that are 300 esque, uh, yeah. especially consider who's booked before, right? Like Volk is booked, uh, Strickland and Hamza was a possibility, but he's booked in January. Maybe he comes back, but I don't think Hamza would be ready. Is anyway. Hamza get on that UFC 300 card? Or are you saying he might not be, be ready by them? Yeah, because I mean that's in five months, so who knows how bad his hand is? Yeah. But he did injure uh, some ligaments there, and that could be tricky. Those take a while. Yeah, Fuck, maybe I'm Islam. So curious. so curious. Islam and Charles. Islam, Charles, Leon, and Colby are fighting in December. December. So that, I mean, that gives you four months to possibly book another fight for what, one of those guys. What Jamal Hill? I don't um, think Jamal Hill would be ready. I mean, Achilles tear in July, coming back in April. Like most people need and Rogers. Yeah, I don't know, but <laughs> I don't know what he's doing uh, to be walking around like that. But it's stem one thing cells. To, yeah, yeah, no, but it's one thing to be throwing a football walking around. It's another to be, you know, in an MMA head fight. kicking a motherfucker. Yeah. What if they do some crazy shit like uh, Logan? Yeah, like huh. just like bring in one of those crazy. I'm, I'm all for that shit. I love that, but something crazy like that. You think Dildo Dennis is gonna get a? He said he'd retire before he goes in the no. contender series because he's not no Sean O'Malley, and finally. That fucking dork says something that we can all agree on. He's not Sean O'Malley. Finally, the kid comes to his senses and realizes that he's not as big as he thinks he is. I thought, you know uh, what? That was very manly of him to be able to admit, you know, I'm not at Sean O'Malley. So I, I was proud of him. You know, I was like, damn, he really learned something from that loss and it really humbled him. If I were the UFC, I would sign him. I. That's what I'm saying. Put him, put him on the uh, the opener Freelance. or the oh. yeah, or whatever. Put him on three hundred. Put him with Connor. Keep that story going, and I don't know. Put like, I, I okay. Let me ask you this: If you were a one seventy guy right now and you're not in the title picture, are you saying yes to that fight or no to that fight? You gotta say yes. Of course, you got to. What about Habib's brother at one seventy? <laughs> Habib's brother, uh, you're just making someone up. Which yeah, one? Do you have a brother. He probably has a brother at 170. He's got, yeah, he's got a ton of guys. I don't know if any are his actual brother, maybe cousin. I know they call each other brother. Like brother, brother. Mm. The uh, issue with Dylan Danis, though, is he goes out there, fights in UFC 300, gets knocked out, and he's already, like, not mentally good. Like, is that is that a good, I mean, whoo. I mean, the guy's asking for it. It, it. Actually, if I'm being honest, if I were him, I would ask for it less. Like, he, he's making it very obvious where he wants to go from a business negotiation standpoint. You got to flirt a little bit, right? Oh, if UFC doesn't want to pay me, I'll go to PFL. Deep down, you may have your choice. Yeah. You may want to go to the UFC, but like he's damn near begging Dana to sign him. You fuck. You heard him talk. He's not that smart though, Ariel. You got to remember how, what the. No, fuck. I know, but he's got you know he's got he's got a pretty good team around him. Um, Does he? Well, he's, I mean, I, there can't be more than three people that are actually be okay to be around him. Here's the thing: if running out Con of time. Le on our oh Zoom, no! Uh oh, you guys use the what is this? We're you fucking use, poor. We're white belts. You, you we're not, use we're, the the jabroni zoom. This is our this is our first zoom interview since probably last since time we? we had you on. We don't really <laughs> fucking we we're gonna try to do it more. Yeah, so we just need to upgrade or what? Yeah, you got to pay for it. What? I mean, shoot me it, over that credit card number after this. It, Hopefully, it's like food stamps. <laughs> I think it's like eighty bucks a year or something like that. It's nothing. Oh, that's deep. Um, um. Anyway, just to finish my thought there, we still have some time, a little bit, unless you're yeah. trying to. You know, get rid of me fast. No, uh, no, no. If I'm Connor, I say, "Hey, put this guy on." And do you think they say no to Connor? No, of course not. Ten minutes. Okay. Yeah. Fuck. I I think they do it. I think they should do it. I, I'd be curious what Dana's real true thoughts are about doing that. Um, because Dana, yeah, Dana might be like, "No, this fucker. I don't want him. He's annoying." Nah, come on. He was just trying to do Zuck versus Musk. Yeah. And I know those guys are like world, you know, famous, but. You can't tell me Those that guys Dylan... damn near as many wins as fucking Dildo Dennis does, though. No, they they put CM Punk in there with not a single amateur fighter. See, like, CM Punk versus Dylan Dennis would be actually a good matchup. It'd be a good fucking no, battle, I feel like. 
Dylan would win that. No, CM Punk take that. He's defense? not a scrub. I mean, he's I'm still kidding. like a I know. black I'm, I'm just, belt. I'm I just fucking kidding. He has two wins in Bellator. Now you ask me right now who those people were or what their names are. I have no idea. If you tell you their names right now, I'd be like, yep, that's them. Mm-hmm. I have more title fights than that dude has. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess not I mean, he's quite. Probably, but... He's probably a pretty nice guy. When the cameras are off, is he a nicer, normal dude? Can I be honest with you? Like, look, the the arc of our friendship or relationship has been like, whoop, whoop. like if you'd have told me at the end of uh, last year that we'd be on good terms now, I would have said no way. <laughs> Deep down, you hang out with him in a room. He's just like he's actually like a quiet, nice, very polite guy, uh, somewhat shy. I would say like it's uh it's kind of wild to see the switch go and i know everyone has like a switch and but he is very different than the guy that tweets or that you see in interviews i would argue that he's more like the guy like the his true self is the guy behind the scenes and this is just an act or a gimmick that he thinks he needs that's to not do. a bad bad move if you can't get popular can't get famous through your uh fighting skills just be crazy on twitter it's not a bad move i i chose to you know what i'm just gonna go out there and knock people out in fantastic ways and just you know keep doing that for 10 plus years but uh dylan Dennis versus colby covington 2025 wherever it would be at wow. imagine that i just thought of that i'd be crazy can i okay dylan Dennis versus kevin holland i love it I love it. Who, who wins? Bro, that's Kev, Kevin Holland, who's who's been in the UFC, who knows I'm his saying, range on his feet. Like, Would you take that, that fight if you're Kevin? TKO first round, Kevin Holland. W- would you take that fight? Or would you say yeah. that's beneath me? Kevin, Kevin, Holland, Kevin Holland would do it. I don't think it should be beneath him because, he, I mean, it's a big eyeball fight. You're, yeah. you're probably on a pretty good contract if you're Kevin, or you should be after taking so many short notice fights, and you should have you should be getting paid good. So... I think, yeah, I think he takes that fight. The reason I mentioned Kevin was like, that was one of the guys. And uh, I know, I know uh, Dylan has been talking about Patty, but Patty's 55 and Patty still has to get by Tony. I don't think that that's going to be a cakewalk. Yeah, yeah. not at all. So, that that December card is so fun. Yeah. Especially uh, Tony training with old David Goggins now. Oh, it's amazing. It's hindering that, him or helping him. Nah, it's got to be great. I mean, from a, technique standpoint no but like just to get him in the right mental space I'm, I'm not a huge david goggins guy not because i don't like him i just i don't like consume his content all that much but i think the content is amazing and it's hilarious and them two together is is riveting um so yeah i think it's great if i were tony i'd put him in my corner imagine they say, imagine like with 15 seconds left in between rounds the coach is like coach what do you got and he's like come on tony that would be oh, sweet <laughs> it'd be sick it would be would amazing be. everyone would watch that and then Tony comes out and finishes him a Dars or something. Oh, yeah, that would be, be legendary. Back. That would be incredible. Why not? Damn, David Goggins and Ray Lewis in his corner, just fucking hyping him up. Be That'd be amazing. That's one of my dreams. I would just like to be in the corner one time, just to experience not so much what the corner is like, but everything from like the drive to the arena, mm. get to the arena. What is it like? You know, I've experienced. Are you the allowed? And- would you be allowed to? What does that mean? If I'm on the they- corner, I'm. Would Dana allow UFC? that? I'm not talking about. I don't care. I'll do it for a boxing. I'll do it for an LFA. I'll do. I, I just. I'll do it for a local oh. show. I'm not saying. I what, thought you meant. Well, I mean, the local shows mean, would be sweet and everything, but a UFC main event what, title what fight. You you're just hater, Sean. Spewing out gospel. Why are you ta- dry taking a low blow? What's up with that? No, I thought you were meant like you want to do it for a UFC fight. I was like, oh, I don't know if you would be allowed off to hit up my uncle Dana and see. Uh, of course, uh, I would be allowed. It's all. That's all kayfabe. You know what kayfabe is? Kayfabe. Yeah. Is that a Jewish word? <laughs> and by the way, I'm not from Morocco. Uh, I know Andrew Schultz told you that. My <laughs> mom is from Lebanon. My dad's from Egypt. Oh, okay. Close. I don't enough. even know. But I am Jewish. Are, so. You don't know where those places are? No. I'm fucking dumb. He's from hell. He's, he's, I'm from my. I'm from fucking hell. I saw the clip of you guys. I don't know why it came up, and you're like Ariel Hawani's Jewish, and then he's like, yeah, he's from Morocco. I'm always fucking thinking about you. I appreciate that, but I'm not from Morocco. But that's fine. I got a lot of love for <laughs> Morocco. Great people over there. Yeah. Yep. Ariel, the fourth corner. Imagine all the UFC people seeing that Ariel on your. Oh your God! You're corner. in my corner. Are you yeah. in the back for me? They can't say back blew out. Listen, they have they have beef uh, with. And for for the record, I'm allowed to go to any event, any arena. I went to the okay. Hall of Fame when DC was there. But um, they get, like, I, I I love Dan Hardy. Um, yep. you know they don't like him. 
Yeah. But he was there cornering his wife, Veronica Macedo, when she fought in the UFC just a few months ago and she's going to oh, be okay. fighting in December. So I think that would be weird if they have like a personal grudge against someone and say, no, we don't want that person in your corner. Like that's for you. If you say, hey. I need Ariel. I need Awani. I mean, his insight. <laughs> yeah, I need you know, He's got the gift of gab. He could fire me up. Mm-hmm. I need Helwani fucking hat would be fire. Uh, real quick though, but Leon Colby, December 16th. This card is looking to be fucking sexy. Uh, opinions on uh, Leon Colby. Very interesting matchup. Extremely. Whole card is great. Uh, great as you card. said, Ian Gary on there. Uh, Patty and uh, Tony Ferguson, the flyaway title fight. You know what's cetera, interesting cetera. on that card? Yeah. Cody Garbrandt, Brian Kelher, yeah. prelims. Yeah. Hilarious. I'm like, holy shit, how the tables have turned. I remember I was at begging him, like, let me fight Cody. He's like, settle down. You're not big enough. Here we are a couple of years later. But I do feel for him because I know he's dealing with a bunch of fucking injuries and injuries, you know, I don't Suck. wish those upon anyone. So I, I I joke, I stab at him. He's, you know, he's not very tall, so I make fun. But, you know, he's on the prelims. He's still in UFC. Six fight losing streak. Let's get him, let's get him back up on there. I don't think it's six fight losing streak. I think he had one win in there seven? recently. No. <laughs> um, anyway, Leon Colby is a fascinating matchup. I don't think Colby deserves a title shot. He hasn't fought in almost two years, which is a little bit weird. Has it I been feel... almost two years? Yeah, March. March will be two years. So this is December. It'll be oh, 20, shit. 21 months. Damn. Yeah. Um, I think if this fight happened two years ago, everyone would say that Colby would steamroll right through him because of the wrestling. Yeah. But I think he has shown us, Leon has shown us a lot in those last two fights against Kamar Usman. The striking has been on point. Yeah. And you know, and you would you would know what I'm talking about here. I think, um, like, I feel like Leon is settling into that like star champion vibe. You know, yeah. like I think he needed that, that, that last win over Kamaru. Now he like, there's just something different when I see him. Like he, you know, his chest is a little bit out. You know what I mean? Like he's- yeah. I just saw him talking about the whole Ian Gary thing, and I'm like, Leon, this is this is nice. I like this confidence. So I'm really curious to see how it goes. But I like, uh, you know, I like Leon's chances. I think it's gonna be a super tough fight, tougher than the last Usman fight for yeah. Leon. But um, yeah, I think I think he could do it. I think his striking is better. So if he can keep it standing, I like his chances. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But I think we're we got damn near out of time, brother. What is this? I was just—I feel like I was just getting warmed up. Tim has said like two things. He I know. Say some things. No, 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 no. no. I, 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 I think the, I think the Colby Leon fight though. I think Colby's just a way different style. Plus, southpaw southpaw changes it a bit. And Colby, when he dips his head, you have no idea if he's shooting, no idea if he's striking. So I think it's a completely different matchup than Kamaru. And I think sure, sure. Colby's going to shoot a lot, a lot. You think more he wins? Than Kamaru did. Leon did wins. such a good job. Like up against the fence, fighting the hands, just getting in the right position to to shut down those takedowns. Yeah, yeah. No, he's great. He's absolutely great. And his and another guy. I mean, cardio for days, right? So that's going to be long. really interesting. Now I'm staring at less than a minute, and this is stressing me out. My uh, anxiety oh, I know, I'm sweating. That's our fault. That's our fault. We live and we learn. We're not pros like Uncle Ariel, but we're we're just striving for that that uh that top position of the best MMA show in the world. But I don't know. We're not, we're not quite You got there. it. You got it in you. I believe in you. We got some climbing to do. We're not, we're able to do live shows like you. Your studio was incredible. You had about 37 people working for you. It was beautiful to see. Uncle Ariel Helwani, ladies and gentlemen. you the man, Uncle I Ariel. Gloves. I wanted to oh, bring yeah, out you, my, my sugar gloves. I have my sugar yep. gloves. They're in the studio. Much love, guys. Thank you for having me. Love you guys. Anytime, I'll be here. Thank you, brother. Assalamu alaikum. There you go to. I should be suing that park. Yeah, that park did it to you. He really did it. Gonna get into it. Tell the people what happened. Yeah, don't. I don't mind. I don't mind. It's sweet, sweet. Uh, <laughs> Tell them, man. Tell them. How. Uh, we were just playing some b-ball, putting the schooling on Schmidt. You were. And then uh, just jumped randomly. I could send the video to Jay. Just jumped randomly and literally, I thought Sono threw a rock at my ankle, and I just you shot a three. Yeah, and I went to sprint to the to get the rebound. All three of the boys weren't, or no, me, Sono, Schmidt weren't even looking at you, and we all heard the. And turned around at the same time when I I knew it. I was like, "Fuck!" Yeah, you called it right away. Was that your Achilles? And I just sat down, and my foot just was just lost oh. all, all so, up. But you know what? When I when I heard my friend did that a while back, I'm like, that had to have been fucking excruciating. But pain wise, mm. honestly, probably a four. Not too bad, huh? Just not too bad. You just can't move your foot. Just the foot's dead now. Damn. And then uh. Thank God for well, you. You recommended it. You're like, dude, you should call Al from Aris Physical yeah. Therapy, Al Escobar. And 
because I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm like, that's the stressful thing. You don't. What are you supposed to do? Go to our urgent care? What the fuck's the urgent care going to do? We call our boy Al. He yep. meets me at the office on a Saturday, on that. his day off. Does the test? He said it's com- your Achilles is completely ruptured because oh. he did the, the little test. But he uh, set me up with some, some doctors, some expert doctors, and what tomorrow- a clutch contact! To yeah, have, Big Al for real. And he called all these guys that are on their day off while they're working the ASU games and stuff. <sighs> this guy named Peter Mitchell, Doctor Peter Mitchell, dude. And he's like, "Well, Peter? I'll see you on Monday." And we'll get you taken care of in the morning. And then he's like, "My day Wednesday's my day off, but I'll come in and do the surgery for you. What a good dude, Peter. I'm like, God, thank God. Peter Mitchell, MD, thank God for him. And thank God for Al Escobar, Yo, physical therapy. Huge. If I didn't have those Big contacts, clutch. then who knows what I'd be doing. I'd probably just, just call it. Yeah, I'd probably just call it with you. Yeah, but, but dude, literally it, right when that happened, literally right when it happened, I just sat down and I'm just like, thank God I'm not in just Israel. Thank God I'm it. not in Israel. Thank God, like my family, my people are like healthy around me. Nothing like that happened. It's like it could be, it be it's worse. Like, way worse, dude. Way worse. But it is like, why? Why? We played b- basketball for 45 minutes. Mm. Good warm up. I was bouncing around, sprinting around. It started to get pretty high paced, and then literally Schmidt. We smoked Schmidt and Sono. We smoked two v two, and then he's like one v one me f- to five. Two swishes. I'm up 4-0. This is our last game, and we'll probably walk home. Yep. And then it goes, and then it does that. That's just like. Every time I've ever had, same with you, though, an injury, it's been a, some kind of blessing. It's just our job to find where that blessing is. It's, yeah. There's some, no really other way to look at it, logically. I mean, you could fucking bitch and complain if this happened to some other people. <laughs> <laughs> this would be a nightmare, brother. Uh, uh, good thing we have uh, your student, JJ. Who's held mitts for me randomly here and there? If you couldn't hold mitts for me, just like a few times. Uh, who know who's who knows all our combos, knows all our shit. Well, it's crazy. Uh, they said he's like you could do no surgery and just put your foot in a boot to where it's like more straight, and then the Keeley attaches. But then the literature came out that there's a fourteen percent chance of re tear, and if you're doing explosive things, and I'm like I'm doing explosive things. Uh, so he said, if you get this surgery though, within two to four weeks, he'll have me in a boot. You're able to walk around. On oh, the so boot. you could hold Nate. Yeah. Bit. So I'll be good. <clears throat> good. We'll just have Jay doing it too. Cause he was jacked when I told him. But again, I'm doing over. cash pay. I've been telling Mariah, I'm like, we've just been lazy about just doing the health insurance shit. Yeah. We've been, I've been months ago. I'm like, God, we got to sit up. But we're just like, eh, man, man, we keep putting it off. But if I would go through the mail clinic, it'd be around 40 K cash out of pocket. <laughs> But if since I'm going through uh, Dr. Peter Mitchell, who knows? Hopefully, hopefully we get a, a decent deal. But he owns part of the surgery center, so he, maybe he can help me out with a little bit of we'll discount action. We will see. Ooh. We will see. But it's a perfect time to put, practice what we preach all the time. But it does. It's like God. I love eating so much, just eating like a fast. That's why a big part of me is like, I love just work out twice, so then I can just eat yeah. freely. Yep. But now it's like you got to be careful and not get fat. Well, speaking of fat, I'm doing a 72 hour fast and I hate to even say it. I haven't told anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I've been uh, preaching it. What? No, me, me and Schmidt and, <clears throat> and Michael, we're all doing a 72 hour fast. The bone broth one that Dana supposedly just did. I haven't really seen it. Garrett just sent me it. But uh, How many hours are you in right now? Uh, I had a shitty ass barbecue last night. So Fuck, you're just starting. Yeah, I'm just starting. <laughs> but I'm already feeling the benefits. <laughs> no, I want to do that. So, but it, it talks about how good it is for your stem cell regen- regeneration or whatever, and how good it is for your joints and your gut, and just how many benefits. I was listening uh, when I was doing my machines today, just on the benefits of fasting, Huge. and it's so fucking. I'm like, God, damn, I'm gonna be unstoppable in 72 hours, right? I remember that uh, scientist, uh, Dr. Andy Galpin, who mm. came out with that book, Unplugged. He would see, he talked about fasting at the end of the book and the gold standards of fasting and how much it really does. And our boy, uh, Scotty, CPI, said, hey, come get a Ooh, bunch of stem cells stem right you after up. you get that surgery. Head there and get her healed. Huh? Well, I have that shockwave machine, too, which is going to be, I, if anyone smart or say, that machine. That's what Dr. Joe was saying, too, about the shockwave. But he said, uh, Dr. Peter said uh, 90% right now of blown out Achilles are coming from pickleball. 
we were about to like, go play fuck too. bro i am just so thankful that it happened to me and not you at this point yeah that would have sucked we would have been fucking pissed oh dude i would have been i would have went down a fucking deep deep i would have done lots of drugs and hookers and mm-hmm. jokes meditated probably the whole time yeah but yeah have and, you put he said the-, the worst thing you got to be careful of too is like when you blow out this ache Achilles and you're bouncing around a ton, blow out the other one. Oh. Boom. <laughs> so he said bounce around. Well, and your brother just blew out. I mean, we talked about it already a little bit. It's good bicep. jeans. Yeah, you got it. That is, is hammer jeans, baby. It's just, that's hey, so stop. weird because they try to eat clean, do everything right, sleep good, do all this shit, and then you just fucking blow some shit. You know shit what's out. weird, though? Is I'm a fucking pretty, uh, a pretty stout dude. <laughs> but my wrists and my ankles aren't like super stout. <clears throat> So I don't know if they can just can't ho- handle the torque <laughs> God or what. Yeah, that's one way to look. That's one pers- that's perspective right there. That's fine. It's, it's uh-huh. Can't handle the torque, baby. But yep, everyone's saying on Instagram that they've done this before and it's hell. So I'm I'm yeah, diving I mean, into hell, baby. Let's I go. I looked it up. Worse than ACL surgeries. No, it did not. Yeah. Tobin, did it really? Yeah. Fuck. I thought you. I wonder knew why. <laughs> I didn't. I, w- I didn't research it yet. I'm gonna re- start researching. I thought you were just saying you're looking up on Instagram and people are saying hell, and I just kind of that. No, no, they messaged me, but they did say that. Oh, it said it's damn near the same. What? Oh. Fuck, that sucks. Well, well, the Lord tests his toughest soul. It's words. not your fucking jaw surgery. Yep, my brother said that. He's like, at least your shit ain't wired shut right Holy now. Holy. Like, Fuck that puts it in, and and you went through it, so you can really be like, okay, bro. The thing that was bad about my jaw surgery oh. is I just was so disciplined for eight weeks on a diet, didn't even have a chance for a cheat meal yet. Uh-huh. No cheat meals at all. I'm like lean. I'm eating the cleanest food, and then as soon as the fight ended, couldn't eat anything because my jaw was broke. Had to wait the three days for the oh. surgery. Then you're wired shut, so you don't even have a chance to like oh, eat some indulge. pizza or a burger or fries. And then it, so it's straight to juice and bone broth. So the jaw, I lost all, so much muscle, yeah. almost all muscle in my body. God, uh, you should have just started blending up cheeseburgers, G. I, well, I did. I tried to blend up Chipotle one Ooh, time. Don't you say tried that, to, bro. I tried to blend it up with bone broth because this, when bone you have broth. your jaw broke, the, the sweet the sweet is easy because with the shakes are so good. There's the mm. protein. There's the fruit. There's the, You can add like coconut milk ice creams. Mm. Uh, but then the savory... So, mm. Yeah, the salty. Yeah. It's like, what do you do? We, we were trying all sorts Sucked of shit. Down a fucking, yeah, I don't know. Uh, but you uh. know what I'm I'm pumped about too is that we have, I mean, again, Eris for the rehab. Yeah, you're lucky. You got, and it's right down the road, not far. Yeah, got it. You can go there, dude. I, that shockwave machine. I'm excited to re- put it to work because mm-hmm. that literally, when I was looking that up, it kept coming up with like best. For the for Achilles, best for Achilles, best for Achilles. Really? Yeah. Fuck. When yeah. I won it before I even bought the machine. Damn. Well, that's so good that thing, know. let's get you fucking up and running. But stem cells, that machine, eating good, fucking getting milked. Yeah, I, I want to get milked. Milk you a couple times a week. That'll help. I need. To, I need. I wonder. I, I always wonder about that. How much busting nuts? If it either helps or hurts the recovery, just in general, re- just recovering. Yeah. It's like, do you need that nut to just fucking feel you? Or is it good Keep to it bust that nut and have it refuel? <laughs> yeah. Or it's like, well, yeah, it just sucks. Because That's just when the you, science when you, I think When you about. haven't busted in multiple days, it's like, how when you're a real bulldog, I how the fuck are you supposed Well, how are you supposed to focus on anything else besides is sticking your back? Uh, it's Tommy G. Oh, yeah, we're busy right now, Tommy G. We're, at, we're shooting a pod live here. Tommy episode. G, I'll give you a call back, brother. He's wanting to shoot a day in a life. Um, Our lives but are boring, that's man. That's what I said. I texted him. I said, the life is boring, brother. We don't do anything cool. Yeah, nothing cool over down yonder. Oh, I got Dave's barbecue last night, and it sucked. I ordered it for all the boys. I don't even want to get into Might as well get into it. Oh, I mean, it's no, like you're, you're not me. allowed to go. I mean, you're allowed to go, but... Nope. I mean, yeah, I'll tell you. No, I don't know. You can't. She'll fucking go. Yeah, kill, okay. kill, put a gun to my head. Uh, I saved JJ's life. I had to do the Rubik's Cube in under three minutes or else he had to get a bullet to his head. Oh, well, JJ it. came over, huh? Yeah, I had JJ come over. We were talking tactics. We had a cool handshake, too, now. Probably just as, just as fun as fucking going out and doing shit. It just felt bad. You know, I asked for fucking the tickets an hour before. Can't true, go. True, true, true. The boys were excited all at the house. Yeah, nah. Mm-hmm. 
So I'm on a leash. Um, what else we got going on? Was you there? F- oh, you know what sucks about this ankle shit too uh-huh. is it's like hard because I gotta sit, but sitting on my back. Uh, sitting on your back. My back. Oh, your back hurts so too. Lit. Oh, your back's so gonna, gonna heal though. I'm just gonna lay and just turn into the fat bastard in bed. <laughs> Are you gonna be game a lot? I don't know if I'll be able to sit. Your back. Well, I'm thinking about going popping by uh, and seeing if I can get a new uh, office chair. Dude, you should do the 72 hour fast. I wonder what they would say. I wonder well, what... I wonder when you get an injury like that if you need your protein and need your fuel yeah, to start too. pumping you. But God, this fa- I mean, I just was listening to a bunch of shit this morning. It sounds like fucking magic. The just fasting. Really? Yeah. You guys like got that. some bone broth set up, or yeah. But the first 24 hours, I guess you don't do anything. I'm just drinking this shit coffee, but it's definitely getting me yeah, yeah, but <laughs> The <laughs> fight's good. happened. Well, you're talking night. about it, so if you don't do it now, it's like, that's pretty pathetic. Well, if I think don't Schmitty's do it, I'll gonna cut do it. it. No, hell no. Schmitty says he's gonna. I said, let's just do our, let's just say, okay, we're gonna put our, ch- our eyebrows on the line. Uh, no, no. But then I said, fine, we'll see how Moody, <laughs> Moody gets at work. We'll yeah, so... Uh, Schmidt starting at 295 and a half. So let's see what he gets down to. God, what a cursed weekend, dude. Our I mean, LFA, all Ooh. our boys just didn't have the best performances. I mean it's fighting. Fighting, dude. Yeah, that was a while. That was that wasn't good. Uh do you do you get a chance to see the, the UFC fights at all? Um Chase Hooper, Jordan Levitt. What was actually what you super entertaining. In? I'm sure. I hear we were naked. It was just a suit. It was really uh, just a crazy grappling. Ex- uh, we we rolled with Chase. We know how slick he is. Yeah. And the thing is, he's, he's big he's one now, the, way bigger. Yeah, and he's got that slow twitch muscle where it's just going to keep going. And if you're expending a bunch of energy in a position, he's just flowing around like a noodle. And he's got good jujitsu, so that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, that Peyton Talbot, he was on the contender series. He's the one that backflipped out of that single leg. Uh-huh. He, uh, first round, this Nick guy took him down, took his back, controlled him the whole round. Second round, Peyton came out, started piecing him up. The dude's fun to watch. Ended up getting the uh, submission in round three. That was a fun fight. And then Chase Hooper submitted Jordan. Michael Morales beat Jake Matthews in his decision. Uh, Brendan Allen beat Paul Craig. Did you watch Whooped that? Whooped him. Did you watch that? A little bit of it. I was going back and forth arguing. Huh? He, uh, yeah, he looked good. He looked freaking good. But both being good at jujitsu and then Paul Craig just willingly giving up, going to his back and then letting him go to mount and letting him get in half guard and. He just shut down all that ankle stuff easy. He got caught once in a yeah. calf slicer that Oof. I was like, oh, fuck. Those calf slicers, once you get caught in them, they're hard to escape. But uh, he did a good job escaping. He looked really good, that kid. Yeah, big guys, scary guys. Um, but other than that, at, uh, we oh, always did. her face twerking? Belbita? Oh, I, I think, is that her name? Uh, I don't remember. I don't I did see a clip of that, but I also I saw. It. I also saw. Um, Amanda Rives. What was she doing? She spinning kicked that bitch in the face and then bop, 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 finished her up. And it was, I only watched the, I only saw the end of the third round, but it was cool. It was a cool huh. fight. It was cute. I mean, cool. Yeah. Um, We did a little interview. We're going to add into this. You guys obviously know we're not wearing the same clothes. We did a little, uh, probably 30 minutes with Ariel Helwani. And we are still working on our financial situation. So we didn't have our Zoom link. Uh, to go on limited time, so we only had a limited time on there. Yeah, we should have put talked about that at the beginning of the pod. We have an excellent interview with Ariel here, and we get out to the real juicy details. We should have said that at the beginning of the pod. Maybe Jake can put it there. I don't know. And uh, other than that, um, I uh, uh I, I want to, dude. I, yeah, I want it. I rode the Airdyne for an hour yesterday. Assault bike, just fucking 60 minutes on there. Good pace. Sometimes I'd hit 30 second sprints, 30 seconds off, one minute sprint, one minute off. I uh, just kind of played around with that. Watched the Aljo versus me fight. I won still. It was yeah. fun. Uh, I haven't watched it in a couple of hours, so it was like good to remember, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. What happened? Uh, Mac, or, uh, Aljo's calling out Max. He wants Max Holloway. What do you think about that? I mean, we, we, we talked about that with Ariel. We shot the Ariel okay. interview a couple of days ago, so maybe we shouldn't talk about it again. Interesting. Oh. You know what I mean? I uh, was watching Lex Friedman and uh, Elon Musk pod. Uh-huh. And Elon Musk says they have more 
satellites in the space than any other country at all. Uh -huh. And he says if he sees any signs of aliens at all, he's going to post it on X. So it's kind of interesting. That is interesting, but I feel like he's had satellites up there for for quite a while now. That And what do the flat earthers say about Elon's oh, satellites? Oh, I was talking about do flat earth with Michael uh, yesterday. Do, 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 do they say Elon's part of the whole thing and he's playing the game? He thinks too? we're in a dome, Michael. I was so high last night. We were sitting by the fire. And it was just kind of quiet. And I was like, I'm just going to, because Michael can ramble, bro. So I just said something about, like, so you think the earth flat, right? And then he's like, oh, yeah, the Freemasonry. And it just goes off. And I just really? kind of tried to listen, but I was super high. Um, <laughs> we, uh, my mom and sister came and it was a really good trip. I haven't seen them in a minute. They had a freaking blast. But having the religious debates with them was really, really good because we went over scriptures but it was like in those scriptures, there's a lot of big words that can lose people. And I think people just agree to it when they're like, oh, that didn't make sense. Okay, I just, okay. That's that makes what sense. I do. When but I it's like Sam every Harris. single word that they say in them, some of those scriptures. Because on their on their website, their jw.org, it was interesting because they have a translation of a scripture. And then a tra there's so many different translations mm -hmm. of the Bible. And it has different yeah. translations and it compares them. But the thing is, each one of those scriptures could be interpreted different by different people and there's such like i don't know what, what would you call it words like confusing words mm -hmm. but that's not like every single word that i'm not sure of i'm gonna fucking google it and see i thought it was interesting you said that like if they don't explain the bible or their beliefs in their own words they use the words of the scriptures that they're taught like we don't this isn't what i think or feel this is just what it is yeah that was interesting. through the bible yeah yeah, it is interesting. I, you know what I did like though, and I, I joke and I shit around, I g giggle when, whenever I have dinner with Sono and Olivia, mm -hmm. we say let's say a little prayer. And there's something to that sitting down and being thankful for the food, thankful for the people, um, that I kind of do like. You I know, think so being too. a little just, uh, you know, maybe they say dear Lord Jesus, dear thing, whatever they say, but I wouldn't mind switching it up and saying like dear universe. You know, you don't, I don't yeah. know specifically the word God. I ha feel like it just turned off on me just from my childhood. Yeah, well, I told my mom and sister, I'm like, if there is, I mean, if there is a God, he's got to be so powerful that he's able to look at these humans and see what their intentions are. Is their heart good? Were they good people? Mm -hmm. And if the, and if he's that's the case, then there's a good chance I'm going wherever we're going. See you in hell, brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Regardless yeah, yeah. of the, the little there. rules that you got to hit, the little rules that are part yeah. of it. Uh, that's wild. But it was a good time. My mom was scared to come on the pod because past times I've said like ripped stuff and, but I'm like, watch my pod with father John. I'm always respectful. Mm -hmm. And I was respectful with that. My mom's pod too. And a lot of people really liked it. So yeah, she, what she did. You go ahead and tell, tell the people what she said when she looked into my eyes. What'd she see? She saw love, but I also think. Nope, she said, said love. Yeah, yeah, All right, maybe she said she read my tattoo. No, no. She, I looked <laughs> in his eyes and I saw love. That's what she said. Uh, you know when, that's just riz when a bitch sees love when they look into your eyes i don't even gotta say shit yeah but the tat is a little <laughs> bit of a cheat code. no i'm just like love and then you have sexy on the other side <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck man see steve will do it got arrested did he in i am brazil i texted him i said you live g he said yeah so i don't know oh, i don't know i don't know what happened but that shit's scary i was talking to him before he left couple days he's like no it's all good like we've paid the people well oh. dude he's got like all these he knows trump like he know like he's got a lot of people that would if something happened to him yeah but he's sending, for <laughs> sending troops for steve and he probably would it's just world war three over steve will do it in brazil <laughs> yeah no <laughs> shit um, oh, but what else we got going on the agenda what, how many weeks out work oh december 16th what's your plan bud that's in four weeks Four weeks, so if I get my surgery Wednesday, I'll be on my boot and I'll be good. You'll be boogieing? I can. Trust me. Trust like, me. I'll make it. <laughs> no, no, no. With the boot, I'll be still risen. I think if you bring that fucking scooter around. The scooter's nice, dude, but hobbling around my fucking house, I'm like, what a pain in the ass. Yeah. Like, how am I supposed to do cardio? I don't even know if I can do that skier now. And you I know, wonder how long it'll be until I can do the uh, airdyne. Or yeah. I wonder if I can just kind of push off one leg and then no. both arms. I mean... Both arms, maybe, but the airdyne, the pushing is probably going to be a while. Dude, you're, you're, it's going to come down to just eating as clean as possible. Yeah. 
Yep, I that's literally just like fuck, not even having shitty snacks in there, and then just giving yourself two days. Wednesday, yep. Saturday, I can have little cheats back on my shit. Yep, yep, yep. That's just what it's gonna come down to. I sent you that Wolverine protocol too that Garner sent right after surgeries. Yep, getting on that. Do that. I'm gonna do that too. Um, and, uh, you got your suppies. You got your fucking. It's just gonna force me. I'm just, I need to fuck. Like I was telling you, I need to read more. I just if I can get a good little routine to where mm-hmm. I'm still growing in other areas. Mm-hmm. Then I'll be good. What about teaching for the next couple of weeks? That's gonna be tough, but I'm gonna need some of my higher belts so I can explain different uh, sequences and they can go over it. And... Yeah, don't ask me. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, G. I know my <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Cheeto, man, I wish I was fighting that motherfucker tomorrow. G, I'm excited about this shit, boy. I ain't never gonna stop. <laughs> Leg kicks and wrestling, huh? Leg kicks and wrestling, baby. Let's take them down, chop them down. <laughs> <laughs> chop the chop down, chip it down, chop it down, chip it down. No, yeah, I'm excited for that fight, though. I'm going to piece his little bitch ass up. I wonder how true that was about Tyson Fury making 62 mil. Yeah, it's so hard to say because there's so much shit you see on the internet that you see and then you tell people and you hear later it's not true. I'm like, fuck. Imagine being one of those Saudis, those Saudi Arabians. You'd be like, yeah, in my family there's a trust at the bank and it's got $10 billion in there. <laughs> right, it's something like that somewhere. I bet you it is. I bet it's a lot of them, but more than you think over there. I was the the Rock was on Rogue, and I haven't finished it, but it's been a pretty good pod. But it's just crazy. They were talking about the Maui fires, how it just fucking Lit took up. out. Yeah, and then they're sending billions of dollars to Israel and Ukraine, but they could couldn't even take care of the people in in America. <laughs> I'm fucking running for president. I'm going to fucking put a stamp, stop to that bullshit. Or just make a difference. I'm going to make a difference by fucking being a better me. <laughs> Bro. Uh, I'm serious. I've been watching this. Uh, uh, fucking is the, the Robot. No, no, no. Oh. That robot was trippy, too. I haven't seen that one. Fucking trippy. Watch that. I want to. I You'll want be like, to. oh, shit. This kid has a robot who's like perfect and has really good riz. He goes on the dates with the girls. He rizzes all the girls up. When it's time to fuck them, he switches places and he just fuck them. And then he goes back. No to, way. Yeah. That sounds way better than anything I could have thought but of. Then the, but then I'll the, I don't, don't want to give it a completely way. Should I stop there? Yeah, yeah. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. But it gets better because the girl has one to do. Tell, 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 tell. And, uh, what else? Oh, Twin Flames I was watching. Twin Flames. This is like this nerdy fucking couple, and this guy start starts a Facebook group, and he starts saying like he's got powers of God, and he helps people find their twin flames, and then he'll straight up, and it's it's the actual video of them talking because it was on Facebook, it was on YouTube, and they're oh. they're Facetime with these people. These people buy memberships to their club, and they start to be balling. He tells them like you're a boy, like you're you are not a girl, you are a boy. Oh, I like God. Dan, and uh, I think your name should be Dan. And he switches their identities, and then what? tries to find your twin flame, your actual true love. God, I want to be in a power position. <laughs> Bro, you watch it. It came out on. They came out with a new one on Netflix. I just watched the one on Amazon, so mm. I wonder if the Netflix one's better. But you'll be like, holy fuck! Bro, look how much coffee I've drank. Not that much, right? I don't know. I'm geeking. I'm. I think it's fast. Where's, where, where's right? that coffee from? Uh, I had to go downtown and get the Tesla. Danny oh, yeah. fucked pop tire, and I had to go grab a Vita. No, I don't make me hungry. I, I didn't take any. Well, I did do some ibuprofen, but I was wanting some pain pills. Remember? You still should. I don't know if I. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've just been smoking. That's all I've needed, and I was yep. able to sleep. I was like. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm like, this is so bad. I'm like, this isn't that. Is it bad. more painful than your bicep? Are similar. It's weird because it's so f- it's way down there. I wouldn't say more. I'm probably pretty similar. I want it. Did Al say if like this is gonna be the most painful part? I guess after surgery is probably gonna be f- just trying to build shit back. Just after surgery, after they cut into you, that's gonna and then your body's gonna respond to that. That's gonna be that's all good. I'll hit some some meds, dude. You should get an extra couple for me. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Cut that. I don't do that shit. Um. <laughs> no fuck pain pills dude unless you're in, injured like I, people take that shit when they're not injured i'm That's just thinking i, I was do. like imagine <laughs> if it would happen to someone who didn't have the contacts who yeah. doesn't have insurance so it's like and then you got you have to you can't work now you have to take work off 
It's crazy how much it and doesn't happen in the NBA. I think it or does NFL. a lot. Yeah, but a lot compared to like a lot. Like how many times? Like every week does it happen? Yeah. I don't know. I'll, probably, like, I'll probably look it up when I'm bored. You're probably not going to get bored, G. You're going to be so fucking hot. <laughs> Bro, I'm already fucking bored. <laughs> uh, I'm bored right now. <laughs> Uh, Jay, you been getting any strange or not? Nah, you don't want to talk about that. Freak it out. They don't listen to this shit. No one listens to this shit. Yeah, these whores don't listen. <sighs> yeah, a little bit. Hey! Risen. We actually do have cute Room girls that listen. Room has the pipe. Blue chew or just daddy chew? I don't even need that shit. Hey. Like, you say that. I know that. I, when people say that, I feel like they just never have laid pipe. Yeah, exactly. You obviously don't need it. But it's taking Why do you it. take it? <laughs> <laughs> Because it's insurance guaranteed. in the boner. It's guaranteed. It's not like, oh fuck, I'm gonna bust. And I busted and I didn't make that girl calm. And it's like, but some guys don't mind not making a girl calm. Schmitty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That dude. That dude. Him and War, two of the most delusy people I've ever met. Love it though. Good shit. Place called Stoop Kid. If you guys ever Ooh. visit Phoenix, you gotta go to this place. Stoop Kid. It's a little S-T-O-O-P. burger joint. S T O O P this little outdoor joint here and they have like a couple bars and like three different restaurants and these smash burgers dude were so mm. phenomenal with the egg on top that was so good yeah that was incredible oh my fast i'm already thinking about food man <laughs> sucks i feel they i've been so they say the fast the first day is not too bad second day you start and then that third day you come around and you're fucking energized Way more energy than you think. Clear-headed. Push past the fucking yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm Fuck. super, super ready to be there. <laughs> I'm already fucking hurting. My eye, Bro, you remember? should tweet during the fast the whole time. Just how hungry, Hour one. what you're thinking. Hour, Hour two. one. <laughs> Fuck, I'm craving some Cheez-Its. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but my eye the other day, fucking, I would pet Kush. And I went to, I must have got his hair in my eye or something. That shit swolled up. I was like, this, when you called me, I saw your eye. I was like... Who's ass for you eating? Margie. <laughs> Don't. I would have. Mom. She gave me a pop. Possible. My mom's fucking funny, though. Her she sense is of actually humor pretty is funny. Like, she seemed like goofy. I like your mom. There was. I wish she'd move down here. There was times at my house that we were dying laughing. And I asked her, I said, would you ever move down here? She said, yes. Yeah, we'll see. What if we just set her up with the... Because she's older than 55, right? Can't be much. I don't know. <laughs> what? Actually, she's probably I'm, not 55. No way. She actually. Well, my dad's going to be hitting his 60th. Really? Yeah. Margie. Well, look, these 55 and up older communities that are all around here are pretty cheap. They are. That's They're right. Fucking cheap. Homes or yeah. Fucking it was just night, bro. full trailer park communities, 55 and up. Pretty safe places, cheap places. I didn't even really think about that. I don't know why I didn't. I got the Job and Two Point House under contract right now. Damn near. Really? Six minutes from my house. You, was anyone else bidding on it? No, it's a, a lot of, the, there's a lot of houses up for sale around that area. Not a lot, but there's a good amount that are from the Air Force people because of the mm -hmm. Air Force base right there. Oh. So they come here and then they have to move because they get deployed out somewhere oh, else. Shit. So there's a couple. So, uh. Damn, Waddellians? Yeah, moving the boys, moving everyone out there. So that'd be good. That'd Got be my awesome. 50 dirt bikes. Been repping, ripping my 50s. So much fun, bro. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean those are bad. They're a fucking blast, especially how I mean out there you can just cruise around the road. You're There's not so even much damn. You can't. Even, you're not gonna be able to fucking rip those for another six to nine months, bud. <laughs> Unless you fucking have some sit on the back with you and you fucking click kick click, kick the little gear up for no, you. No, I'll just sit in my lawn chair and watch you guys just drive <laughs> by. A few times. You can. I'll let I'll let you pretend you're playing with me like a yeah, remote. Yeah. But that's the thing. I mean, my brother reminded me too. Like, be careful on those motherfucking yeah. things, bro. Oh my God. It's so hard with our boys and stuff because we're talking shit, so it's so competitive anytime we do anything. But the nice thing is Sono's so bad at most of the shit we do that I can beat him pretty easy. Yeah. Two I races, mean, we, beat we, him. We beat him down. We beat him down. Basketball. But I was impressed. He was decent at basketball. I got to give him that. He was decent. He was hitting some drives. He wasn't really hitting the shots, but some of those, I those assists that I was giving you. The bullets, it's just the chemistry is not fair because I could talk. The give and goes, the bullets you were ripping through the little center line, it was just not God, fair. God, once you put those in, it's like that's. I, mean, I haven't played ball in months. I feel like if I played consistently, I'd be an issue. Yeah, 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 probably. You were driving like the fucking point guard would. That shit was fun, bro. But God, I, it sucks. Like, I have to literally wait. That's how Jamal Hill hurt his yeah. playing basketball. 
Bro, bro, we have to. It's weird that it didn't like happen that. like earlier when we. It's weird like it happened after you were warmed up. Yeah. Like. But it was such a good reminder that we got to be careful. Yeah. Like, especially right now. Because so Jamal Hill, he, he <sighs> won the title and he never even got to defend it, never even did, got pay per view points, he just, right? He said, I'm going to be out too long. I'm going to relinquish it. Yeah. So his it next fight, he won't. Bullshit. So you don't even get a pay per view points. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was tough. So, that's good to know. We ain't fucking around no more. Yep, fucked up. Ah, oh, no. shoot the bows. You can putt putt, or, putt putt around on the fifties. Just not get competitive on those because those yeah. are easy to get competitive on. Yeah, yeah. You know what would be fun though? Putt putt. But you know who's actually good at that? Sono. Is he? He can actually putt. So maybe we do go play. Maybe he can bring his girl so he can finally Sano. fucking beat me in something. Yep, yep, yep. Madden, nope. I think Chess, old Schmitters, nope. I love you, Schmitters, with you. wish you were here to debate me, but I think he thought you were going to smoke us at basketball. And no me. Way. And oh, me, oh. I think he thought. I'm glad you brought that up. Because he used to talk. I forgot how much yeah. shit he would talk about basketball. But also, you got to remember. He's, he's 300 not, pounds. No, he's oh. not. He's Back in Missouri, he's not playing with people who are pushing the pace on him. Want to just push yeah. him, get him tired, get him, give him the ball, and let's just get him he tired. He tried setting a screen on me, and I ran through him, and he had to take a timeout. <laughs> was, uh, I thought he was going to call uh, us. <laughs> my ribs. I'm 110 pounds, and I ran through him like a fucking machine that was a good time playing b-ball though it was fucking it was fun. remember when you fucking tore your shit remember that that family that was having issues they met oh, up at the park they yeah. were having some discussions there was a serious that was probably about a 30 minute combo we were trying to listen in the on three boys were there there was some shit going three down. boys a couple parents yeah that was wild that was wild i think we had a decent or no i don't know how decent the card is this weekend but i think there's a good couple fights oh yeah darius versus tasukian December 2nd. And then Bobby Green, Dan Hooker, Rob Font, Figueredo, Sean Brady, Kelvin Gaslam. Yeah, I know. Bro, this card's stacked. Stacked. Rob Font, Figueredo. I'm so curious how that's going to go. Saroy, uh, that that Puna, I can't say his name, Suriano, that kid. Yeah, Puna, Puna, the middle yeah, middle kid. He's fun to watch. This card's actually pretty sweet. That's all on the main card. Clay Guida. Ooh, Misha Tay versus Ooh, Julia Avila. Jakar. Oh, shit. Jakar's next. December 2nd. Oh, so that, that's. Oh, that's two weeks. So there's no fights this weekend. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck you, dude. Well, it's Thanksgiving this weekend, so you can see why. Oh, yeah, Thursday what do you want to do? Friday. I mean, we could do a Friendsgiving. I mean, I might be overdosed by then. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe we'll do, do a little something. God, Joe Perez was like, we should have a little turkey bowl game with some of the some of the guys, the MMA guys and stuff. Turkey, turkey bowl? What's that? Like playing some football, but I'm like, well, Let's play right. basketball. Maybe we shouldn't do that. No. Just good ref it. We play fucking. What about cornhole? About That's frisbee. a good fucking game. Or honey ball. No, no, no. Those are, those are all too much moving. Cornhole. Yep. Yeah. Darts. Cornhole. I like that. We got the cornhole shit going on here. God, I've been just loving my bag, dude. My bag of smoke. Just Have fucking. Pff, just getting stupid. Well, well, that was the first time you came over and I hooked the hose up to the thing. And you, we well, just, the fucking hose here wrecks me, dude. I don't know what. I like getting there, though. Yeah. I don't feel anything. It's like I'm either horny or high. <laughs> yeah, and or when you're high and horny. Or depressed. Yeah, well, yeah. Horny, high, or depressed. Bobcats bad. lost. Grizzlies won. I was supposed bad? 37-7 or something like that. I was supposed to be there. Uh, change of plans. Kind of glad. I mean, it works out nice. I wouldn't even be home. I would be flying back at like 7 p.m. Oh. <sighs> So this works out good. Uh, <laughs> Fast, dude. Woo. Feeling good already, man. Are you really? No, this coffee's got me fucking geeking, though. It's weird because it's only I haven't drank that much, but it's just pure black coffee. Yeah, that's probably why. But usually I have, I guess this is a lot of coffee, but usually I have my two espresso shots from my AeroPress. Is that as much caffeine or is this way more caffeine? Well, those are cups of coffee. Just a cup. Is that a pour over? Or I think what it's is 110, it? yeah. 110 milligrams to 160, uh, I think. I read for a cup of coffee. Drip. God, Sam. I'm thinking about running for president and shit. I'm so fucking geeked out. <laughs> nope. Did you watch Theo and Dana's pod? Uh, I started it, and it was good. It was, it was good pretty so far. funny. Theo is fucking hilarious, bro. Yeah, he's too fucking funny. Uh, I'm surfing the Twitter right now. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting a good surf in on this Sunday. Uh, it's been a couple hours since I've surfed. Uh, Show me who you follow, and I'll tell. I'll show you how how 
I'll show you oh, where your life ends up. Oh, <laughs> I don't follow no one. Um, no, I'm not. Uh, remember that right hand to hit Holly on Piva with? That was crazy. Did you see many highlights of the F1? That is fucking insane that they built that whole course in the strip. And then you see one of the manholes fucked up two cars. What like manholes? The, like just the holes in the city. Oh shit! The really? first day, the first hours, or some shit. Mm -hmm. That's fucking. Crazy. I was yeah, I was supposed to go to F one too. Just didn't. I'm just fucking disciplined, dude. I'm at home, fucking crisscross applesauce, bro. Mm -hmm. With that red light on my. Butt How's your recovery room going? You in there a lot? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm. I'm in my recovery room at least thirty to forty five minutes in the morning. Doing my machines, just doing my meditation. Been been doing a lot of oh god, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of the waking up stuff, just li listening to his talks, doing those daily meditations, and then doing my, I do my two minutes in the morning, two minutes at night, and the cold plunge. I'm getting back in my routine. Do you ever do some of his talks? Yeah, like, those are fucking pretty good, yeah. bro. There's some that are like, damn. Yeah, it's some I get Sam loses me a lot. It's very hard to like. Really. Yeah, sometimes I'm like, God, I hate being fucking stupid. <laughs> but I know that deep down in my brain, it's fucking taking it in. It's taking it in. Stored it in the memory. Um, So Lana's three. Yeah, <laughs> she's big, man. She's big. I got her a little chocolate milk. I got my coffee. Did you really? Yeah, almond milk, done on that horse shit. Horse? Yeah, you, know, you ever had horse milk? No, that's really? that a thing? I eat fucking tit milk. No, it's not. Dude, I don't fucking no, 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 I don't think it is a thing, but why not? Why just from a cow? That's true. You or know what I mean? I mean? Horse milk probably be good for you. I don't think I've ever heard of someone ever even say the two, like, horse milk. Yeah, have some fucking horse milk. <laughs> You're the one that has horses. Horse milk, bro. Dude, horse milk's good for calcium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll get those stem cells going. Yeah, horse milk. No, but horse milk, I don't I can't do fucking horse milk, I think. Well, no, there is a girl there. There is a girl, but there's one boy and one girl. That horse that male horse, you can just tell how horny he is for that hor that female horse. Oh yeah, he's horned up. Dude, he's fucking like you can just see the way he fucking looks mm -hmm. at her asshole. It's weird. I don't think my baby Hazel's pregnant. Well, if she is, think. it's a miracle that she Which hasn't sucks because that uh that retriever got fixed now. That no. retriever, yep. Well, if you need Kush to come over and lay the pipe. Yeah, right. That little pipe <laughs> wouldn't do shit. Dude, Kush is hung. Really? No, he's got a little fucking pecker. I can't believe you got shit in your eye from him. What was but the that's shit, crazy. Bro? That's it was crazy. It just went right away. Well, it was a, I think it was a hair got in there, and I itched it, and I just irritated Ugh. it. Because I was like, I was driving to the gym, and I was like, fuck, I can't be seen like this. TMZ, the paparazzi will kill me. And just fucking, yeah, <laughs> spreading your pink eye all over. But So I just rode the bike for an hour, I tell you that. Jokes. Yeah. Um, what else we got going on the agenda? Is any other pods hit you up or no? Any other pods? Yeah. Nah. No one wants to fucking hear from me. What do I got to say? Oh shit. Some I fought fuck such a long, yeah, I fought a long time ago. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, let me book something, Jay. Uh -huh. What? Like on book. Um, it's been what? The weather? OMG had a bonfire with the boys last night. The weather is incredible. I'm yeah, out here at Arizona. It. Uh, very thankful for the weather. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, David Blaine, magic. You can't. Th I don't even think that those are illusions. I think he's one hundred percent magical. Do you really? Yeah, dude. I don't get it, and I know that's part of the tricks and part of the game is not getting it. Did you watch him on Rogan recently? No. Oh my god, it's so fucking crazy how how much of a master he is at what he does. It's fucking insane. It's almost like me striking. <laughs> No, but it is wild. He can read the back of cards. If I had a deck of cards right here, Welsh, right, deck card, and I picked this one, Welsh. and he's looking at you, I see it, he can read the back of the card and, and tell me what it is. Even if I bought that fucking deck and I brought it, it's my own deck. He was doing it with Rogan. Oh, I don't know if it, maybe it was a specific deck, but it's, even then he said, look at the back, all the, it's fucking, it. it's something he has to watch. You gotta be there. You gotta be there. <laughs> uh, Cybertruck, I get mine next week. Oh, imagine no but a oh. matte bro the matte black cyber trucks it would be so sick emron said he's pretty high up in line and if i want it he'd give it to me but i'm like you ha i feel like he has to experience it first before yeah he well he if he experiences because he's not driving i think he's not driving a tesla right now once he experienced driving a tesla yeah he's never had tesla's. oh yeah yeah 
He, but he and also he says back yeah the other cars. Yeah. Damn. But he also said uh, he he doesn't know if his garage is gonna be long enough because the truck's so weirdly shaped. Oh. So if he if I end up getting that Cybertruck, bro, you ain't not seeing me for a minute. I'm gonna be in there all day. <laughs> I'm gonna be in there all day. You know little baby. Okay, this yeah. is a, ma- this is a fire. masculine empire here. Says this: men pick loyal girls over successful ones. Girls pick successful men over loyal ones. A huge lesson there. Wow, that's pretty good, man. Good thing I'm both. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, no, but fucking for real. Fucking Schmidt. I need to have a talk with Schmidt. And we need on? to have him pipe down when the fucking girls are around. He's always trying to he's always trying to make himself sound like the fucking the, the good guy in the group. Uh, what's he saying? Sick of it? Yeah, he's like, well, at least I'm loyal. He's like, it says shit like that around. I'm like, Schmidt. You're gonna get slapped, <laughs> you fucking <laughs> dipshit. Uh, that's good. They can't bring around the girls. He wants to push the boundaries, push the buttons, he talk about to, stuff that we shouldn't be talking about. Really? And he knows it. And he likes that. Power. And he likes it. I can't wait till that motherfucker gets a girlfriend. Oh, damn. Be like, remember those four hundred chicks you fucked the Asian? <laughs> and he'd be like, chill. Like that's the same shit you do. Really? Fuck. And it, and he fucking needs to be a, slapped around a bit. But he's he's gonna be an issue here in about six months if he keeps lifting three times a week. Yeah. <laughs> because right now you can grab him and he feels just like three. He just feels big, three hundred pounds. But in six months, if he keeps lifting with David, he's gonna fucking feel different. Yeah. Okay. In one word, what's your biggest fear? Pussy. Jay. I was about to say the same thing. I swear to God. Yeah. Is is what's scary? Your, no, that can't be your biggest fear. Desires. For pussy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> joke, joke. No, um, biggest fear. <sighs> That's a deep. Or question. should we go to six reasons more girth will benefit you? More girth? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what's your biggest fear, Tim? Achilles um, tear. Hurt again? The biggest fear is just probably friends or family dying. Oh, that's yeah, gotta be it. it yeah. If you think real fears. Yeah. I was thinking more selfish. <laughs> you like, think you're for real? Well, I, think more like, <laughs> I, I thought that was the question how it was answered to. Obviously, anything happened to Elena. Yeah. That would be that. like, Ooh. uh, yeah, six girth. Let's hear that one. I need to work on that. Okay, we'll go to the girth one. You think that one will help <laughs> us here? Uh, yeah, right, dude. I look Morning like wood is the number mug. one sign Cup. of a well functioning, healthy penis. That's good to know because I wake up bricked up, daddy. Okay. Well,. It's a very good sign because you got high testosterone. Morning wood about eighty percent of the time is a good indicator of high T. Mm. Um, well, this is. I mean, this one's kind of. It's not great. Just get Number two, like randomly throughout the day. Oh yeah, I've been bricked yeah. up randomly. There's not really a day that I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes actually today I'm fucking depressed. So yeah, today you'll be surprised. You're just walking around with a bone. No, I'm like, I'll fucking have a depressed. <laughs> I'll break right now. Two fucks. A depressed bone <laughs> be fire. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're at like 45 plus. We're gonna add the uh, aerial. Well, we got shit to talk about. Yeah, no, we, we got, got shit to talk about. We're going. We got plenty of shit. <laughs> we're still talking about shit, shit. Okay, life is a video game, and here are the cheat codes. No fap. Number two, semen retention. Number three, the gym. Number four, books. And number five, prayer. So why don't you do like a 72 hour no fap? John. I'm doing a 72 hour fast, bro. <laughs> Dude, no <laughs> fap on top. Imagine. Probably be superhuman. Uh, see, I can't commit to that one. <laughs> but I need to, uh, we'll see, though. You know what I mean? If a couple hours goes by and I haven't, maybe we'll just stick it out. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I don't want to overcommit. I might not even do this whole fucking 72 hour fast thing yet. I still haven't committed to that. Just tell people I did, and then uh Garrett said today he he's ended his seventy two hours. He said he did really? it today. He's got done. I'm trying to do my seventy two hours, just but fucking condense it into one day. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Oops. Oops. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> uh, what else we got going on the rest of the day? What are you doing? Like, what are your plans? You can't do much. Are you just gonna go I'm, home? I want to probably hang out. I want to watch Open Mat a little bit. Might as well. Hang out at the Madden. gym. You can play Madden. Maybe. Um. Yeah, we could play a game of Madden, and then uh, just... Uh, I know Elena's got swim today at 
Try to keep that gun in its safe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you need me to load it, uh, let me loaded, know. Buddy. She's loaded. She's one click away. <laughs> so Wednesday you get surged. Do you gonna? I, I mean, fucking hope, dude. I go nice. see that guy tomorrow in Scottsdale, twelve forty-five. Boom, boom, boom. You need me to give you cru- cruise you around? I got shit going on. I'm fasting. <laughs> uh, I'll probably just take the Tesla. You can. I'll probably just ride in the backseat. <laughs> I'll probably just call him then. Just watch it to do. <laughs> uh, Snapchat. I got one of them. Yep. You got one? I snap a lot, man. I've been snapping my days too. People seem to enjoy it, so I'm going to keep doing it. Speaking of. Oh. See, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah <laughs> snap yeah. right now. I did. Jay, you still been on Snap at all? So when yeah, I send you I snaps. I haven't been on it at all. You don't even know, see my snaps. I have like, my noties on now. Okay, yeah, that's good. Dude, you won't regret it. Yeah, it's not something. I got my Twitter hacked the other day. Oh, yeah, how'd that go? Anything tweet funny? No. They were just trying to fucking scam people out of... Uh, well, I'm yeah. glad our little close friends thread went away. Because I thought that <laughs> I was a little last nervous. Day, uh, last I was day a of the internet. Nervous. Look last through our DMs, imagine. Or imagine our IG DMs. Uh, there's nothing in there. Well, it's fucking AI trying to cheat. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> it. That's it. Shit. Wait, did you get it back, Sean? I did. Oh, Thank uh, God I got fucking... I had UFC and John Shahidi... Hitting up their connect, so I was able to get that back quite boom, fast. Boom, boom. Um, yeah, for me, you know, it's weird thinking about not eating today. I don't know what else to even think about, really. I like that's probably where seventy five percent, maybe maybe seventy percent of my joy comes from in life is me just fucking stuff in my face. Yeah, I'm up there too. Just going to the fridge, grabbing a little snack, whether it's fucking grapes. Good cold grapes, kombucha. They see me rolling. <laughs> You're gonna be able to get some funny content with that. It's cruising around, smoking a joint. Fucking I'm gonna be laying the fridge. just so fucking high. Ain't gonna get ain't gonna be shit. <laughs> You're gonna watch everything on Netflix. Your Snapchat stories is just him on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all day. Yeah. <laughs> literally, dude. Uh, literally, Sweet. dude. Well, should we go fucking play a game of Madden? Good. Unless you got shit else to say. I mean, I got shit. I can go all day. Yeah, right. You're fucking <laughs> running out of shit already. Bring up a subject. I'll spot, bring, talk about Say a word and I'll bring I'll fucking ramble Freestyle, on. Freestyle, Sean. Um, education. Education. I think the education system is fucked. Zero through fifth grade, I get. But fifth through seventh, say eighth, high school, <laughs> dumb, drop out. Pussy. Need it. <laughs> Love it. Just go back and forth. A problem. A problem. I th- but but dude, honestly, I think it's a problem for a lot of fucking people. Not me. It's a problem, and even people that can't get it, then porn's probably a problem. Yeah, it's just fucking cheap, cheap, easy dopamine hit. Boom. Yeah. You're like ugh. But the thing is, like, you, you get that pussy, and then what? You want some more? Yeah. Just like winning belts, baby. You get that belt, and you want some more? Mm-hmm. It's like food. You get that <laughs> by you want some more? <laughs> It's got to be on me geeking. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know what it is, bro. It's a cold brew or something. Yeah, so my life's going good. Education. Dude, that's the thing. It's like a lot. everything's been going too good. Yep. Something's got to fucking reminder. knock you down a bit. Needed a reminder. Mm-hmm. Hey, you got it. You fucking got it. At least it wasn't your right one. You can drive. Yep. Imagine that. You would have to try to drive with your left foot. I, I wonder, That's hard. I've tried it. Yeah, fuck. That's hard. That's true. I didn't even think about that. Damn. Because I remember that's what happened when I fucking broke my foot. Liz Frank has the right foot. Couldn't drive. That sucked. I should be able to do some pull-ups. Maybe one, 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 one-legged uh, push-ups. <laughs> yeah. My back hurts low, not high. Um, Could do... I'm just, I just got. I just got. I had to YouTube it and Google it. The best workouts for torn Achilles people. Yeah, sit ups. Get that abs going, G. Come back with a six pack. <sighs> Come back with a gut. <laughs> yeah. a little yeah, beer gut. Too soon. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Seriously, G. I'm Sorry. worried about that. Push ups. No, I ain't gonna eat. Bench it. press. <laughs> presses. That was good press. Maybe. Um, you could do deep presses. Uh huh. That little machine you got. For that, taking the, the, for your back. Oh, the decompression, yeah. Is that pretty nice? Yeah. Is it like pretty it. much the same thing as a, uh. Inversion table? But I can't invert. Oh, you could definitely do that. 
It's nice, dude. JJ laid on it yesterday. He was like, what? That massage table you got me, though, is fire, bro. What's so fire about it? Put my bit, my little PEMF on there, and there's a little <laughs> hole on there. You can... it, ch- it changes the PEMF game, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It really does. It, it changes does. that shit. Um, a little milk. Yeah, there's a little hole for your face <laughs> in it, but if you lay on it backwards, you put your wiener through it. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know. I've never, um, Horse milk, bro. I've never done it. <laughs> Horse milk. Have you? No. Fucker's had his fucking massage table for less than 10 hours. <laughs> 10 <get> minutes. Milk. <laughs> First thing he does is get milked in there. Yeah, right, bitch. <laughs> no, that's hypothetic. It's hypothetical. Uh, yeah, Kanye West. Coming back with a new album. You see that? Oh, wait. Didn't Drake supposed to drop? He dropped like a, a deluxe version of his album. He just added like five songs to his Fire? current album. I thought it was good. Really? It's okay, Tim. <laughs> Six to nine months. <laughs> Six quick to year. nine. You might as well get Mariah. Is that what they year. said, Tim? Six to nine months. I'm just saying. Yeah. Too. Might as well get Mariah pregnant right Google now. It. And then nine months, you guys making fucking come. Just have fucking hell, and then it's just like everything goes to shit. And then you're me. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're me. <laughs> you can't trade for that long. <laughs> you're me. <laughs> yeah, well. No, but it's like, do you think everybody should have a kid? No. Yes. I think my mom said she said also said I think you could be happy not having a kid. Yeah, I think so, but I just think later in life, I don't know. Hard to say. Yeah, just I feel like I don't know. I personally always felt like I wanted to have kids though. Well, since yeah, since I was you, little. Yeah, and I don't know if that was just me wanting saying that because I knew how kids were made. Yeah, you know, like doing that, mm-hmm. yeah. or if I, I don't know. I just think everyone really is. Just so it's we're here fucking here to do. So I'm gonna <laughs> you know, I'm probably gonna have about six, seven more. <laughs> yeah, that'll bring some real peace to your life. Real peace and joy and happiness. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yep. Did you guys see that thing on uh Twitter, the cruise ship went down? Tim, I sent you a video. I saw that. The cruise ship? Imagine that. Yeah, like everybody's on like life vest. But like people were recording themselves in the water. Yeah, that crazy. would have been you recording in the water hundred yeah. percent. I'd have been on Snap, guaranteed. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, from a from a yacht thing like a yeah yeah like one of those little cruise see that's why I don't do that it would be fun nope it would be fun though that would you swimming in fucking water no those no new cruise ship I thought it was new <laughs> that was oh, an yeah. old ghetto no, that was one. recent oh was it a ghetto one <laughs> it looked like it Fuck uh, that, or we bro. just get a fat payday like fucking art <laughs> yeah no yeah shit get cashed out a little bit whatever happened with that joke joke joke. <laughs> Uh, I'm hungry. I want peanut butter. Me? I don't want shit. I'm seriously, though, satisfied with nothing. I'm definitely at peace when I'm fasting. I can tell you that much. <laughs> you ate, like, fucking last I'm about to write a fucking book on how to handle fasting. Wait, where did you end up finding your Cartier? Remember? So in my it. safe. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to put it in there. I thought Bean stole it. I thought he fucking came over and stole it when I was at home. Just flexing on Instagram. (laughs) (laughs) Blocked me, though. Yeah. Um, Oh, it's Thanksgiving. I'm excited. I'm excited. We're going to be Yeah, should we just do a little... We'll do a Friendsgiving. Friendsgiving. And then just family. (laughs) (laughs) And then you guys can do the... the Yeah, well, Friendsgiving. What are you going to do with your... Like a family one? I don't have one of those. (laughs) (laughs) That's what I'm saying. (laughs) You can be a part of it. Uh, and mommy. <laughs> no, yeah, we'll probably just do a Friendsgiving. <laughs> I'm sure I'll have to fucking... I'll, I mean, I'll do it. Probably do the cooking. I'll probably... Well, I'll have to buy all the fucking... There ain't no one cooking at my fucking house. No one in my family cooks. Mom, Michael, Daniel, me. Daniel well, for our Friendsgiving, gonna. I think we should do... Uh, everyone brings a, a little dish. See, I can't do that with my family. My mom would bring like, a loaf of bread. Michael would bring some fucking chicken from the <laughs> A store. loaf of bread from... Uh, Fries. From uh, yep. the dented can. <laughs> yep. That's literally what would happen if I had told him. But yeah, for yours, I have like Schmitty bring over his fucking something. <clears throat> Mac and cheese. Some Safeway Ooh. fucking great value. I'll shit. probably still be fasting by then. Oh, wait, it's Thursday? Yeah. yeah. Damn, my fast ends Wednesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Who would be fired then? So I'm going to have to make sure I fucking do my thing. Schmitty hasn't been to Starbucks in three months, said he saved $810. Really? And Schmitty always gets, he always thinks we're picking on him, bullying him. Like, the reason you're not going to Starbucks is because I fucking made fun of you for long enough that you finally quit. So he should give me that 810 bucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no 
and okay. thank me. I, I started this new uh, show, but I didn't really. I kind of shut it off because it was like this. I don't think. It, I think it was a, maybe a German show. Ugh. But this guy, he started to do a reality <laughs> show, and he, he he casted people for a reality uh-huh. show, and he was the one camera in it, and it never ended up coming out. But all the cast members talk about it, and like how fucked up it was. Damn! So they shot it, but they just didn't come out with it. Like you were talking about, just rented a house and like had to start <sighs> his own little reality show. I still want to do that. It'd be even better now that your Achilles is fucked. <laughs> Schmidt oh, just get you just fucking is your slave. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you just make a lot of content now for your YouTube? I'm gonna down. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to do some good content for the YouTube and blow up on the tube, bro. Get, cre- get creative. Here. What if we took a hiatus for the Timbo Sugar Show? Not a act, we just weren't going live every Sunday. But we just racked up ten of the craziest guests. Not craziest, but just fucking ten. That'd be lit. Bangers, but I got. I guess we're not traveling right now. BLP kosher. Yeah. Ra- z- z- water. Get a bunch of good ones there. Get um, fucking Jackson on the pod. <laughs> Behind the scenes shit. Fire. Thank you. Hey. So, Jay, how long before you, to, for you to date a girl that. before you, you're like, okay, I think we're in, in the stage to have a kid? <gasps> you having kids, Papa? Are you I would want a kid, yeah. I for sure want a kid eventually. Like, like 35? Well, yeah. That's six years. That's very good. That took a long time. Yeah, I mean, how I, long should you date a girl before you think that she's the one to have a kid with? Fucking I, Mexican, I so we'd probably have a kid that year when. Uh, <laughs> yeah, boy, I feel that. <laughs> I feel that. Oh yeah, God, uh, no. you know what it is too. Like the older you get, like it's not you can wait longer. Well, especially for me. Well, I didn't know uh, freezing eggs. I didn't know freezing eggs was such a. I wonder if that's like a high percentage thing. Girls freeze their eggs. I think it's pretty popular nowadays. Like pretty common. Could do that. They just have them when you're like sixty. 40. I just don't want to be an old ass dad, like fucking sixty. Old mentality. Like you don't want to be Joe Rogan's age. No, yeah, he's he's in good he's shape. He's fifty six, fifty seven. Dude, you know who's Paul checks like sixty three now. Mm-hmm. Still out there fucking doing his thing. That's true. Putting fucking rocks in his cold plunge. Yeah, that was badass. You seen that video? Yeah, I want that water charger he has. I know he that would be it. fucking sick, but I just don't know how you. I can I don't make have one. the brains to make that kind of shit. I probably could. Oh, you know what I ordered? These Ray Bands that you put on, and you can record everything. Wow. <laughs> you should, you should I ordered. I wonder how many gigabytes is in that. I don't know. You're all like in a relationship, and you're trying to record the domestic abuse or something. <laughs> That's <laughs> literally. What I'm I said. wearing my fucking. I can't wear my glasses. <laughs> no, you should wear them where like you're trying to raise girls up. I'm gonna, wa- the I'm gonna wear them on. Fucking risen would be lit. With those glasses on. Risen on the birds. That shit's easy. Hey, you're cute. <laughs> Yeah, that robots oh, movie's a good little flick. It'll keep you keep you intrigued. I'm not gonna tell you what happened. What's it called? Do you even say robots? That? Literally. Yep. Oh. Yep. 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 Um. Sugar merch drops Tuesday. New shit, baby. It's that shit. Shit. See. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. What else is going on? <sighs> not much, but I think that's good. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that like and subscribe button. Comment what you think below. And then also patreon.com slash redhawk academy. Especially now that I'm a fucking gimp. I'll probably do a lot more shit. Maybe some some book reviews on there. A, bu- a bunch of different shit. But the, the people on there now have been enjoying it. So hope you enjoy it too. All right, guys. Sugarshop.co. Hey. See you guys next week. Bye.